What's up, everybody? It's Pykel with League of Items, and tomorrow we will be finishing up the first group in the World Championship. Uh, the King of the Rift ended. Uh, Brian Dashel uh, from League of Items uh, Discord, he had two entries in the finals, wasn't able to get up into the upper echelon where you make a decent amount of money. Uh, Emmerich made good money, so congrats to Chris. I think his name is Chris, Chris Emmerich. Um, and then there were two other guys, Gordy Lamb and Ian J. I think both of those guys are loosely affiliated with uh, the esports department in one way or another. Uh, if you want to help support the people who make content over at the esports department.com, uh, check out the esports department.com slash donate. Uh, I make the Infinity Edge podcast with Ghost and The Hef over there. So tomorrow we have six matches. Uh, I can only bet on three of them because Dom Juan Kia is in three of those matches. Uh, so they have a 17-year-old or something. We can't bet on them. Uh, so we have three games uh, for the... $1,000 betting challenge. Uh, and there's also DraftKings. I don't know if I'm really going to waste my time with DraftKings on this kind of slate. It's kind of gimmicky, in my opinion. Um, it'd be one thing if the group was kind of open-ended or if somebody could make it a lot more interesting. But I already have some money on like Rogue, so I don't really need to hedge out of it. Um, but let's talk about every individual matchup. And we'll see, we will see where we end up. So first up, we have FPX against Dom Juan. Uh, in the top lane, I mean, in the first game, Dom Juan was able to take down FPX. I wasn't surprised. I had uh, Dom Juan as the winner in that one. I think that Khan and Nuggery are both good players. Nuggery is probably a better player. Um, we should take a look at the side selection. I think that... Okay, so Dom Juan was blue side last time. They got a, Yu a Yumi game, I think. I don't think that's going to happen again, right? So, um, the draft will probably be a little bit different than it was last time. Uh, in the jungle, I still think that Canyon has uh, an advantage in the jungle. He's been the better jungler at Worlds than Tian. I think that Showmaker has ha has had a better world championship that, than FPX. And I think FPX has also had some questionable draft decisions, specifically with the champions they're putting Do and Beyond. So we haven't seen anything that makes us feel more comfortable playing FPX <sighs> than Dom Juan. Uh, and then both teams are, you know, they're good enough in the bot lane to be competitive with most bot lanes, but they're not the winning difference. They're not the focal point of their teams, so we're not too worried about that. Uh, one thing that we saw out of Don Juan Kia when they played up against Rogue, and I think FPX may have done this as well, they were like respect banning uh, Han Sama. So just keep that in the back of your mind. Like we might see some of that where uh, like Rogue has chances to to beat these teams. And I, I think that Dom Juan and FPX genuinely believe that uh, based on, you know, can Han Sama carry Rogue? Um, but in this spot, I mean, outside of side selection being a big difference, I don't really think that there is a huge edge one way or another, especially I don't have the, the, uh, the line, so I'm not sure. Uh, I would probably just back Dom Juan again. I think that some people will just automatically go into FPX because Dom Juan won the first time. I'm fine with going back to Dom Juan in this spot. I think that the counter pick opens up a lot of opportunity for them. Uh, they could use that in basically any lane. I mean, if if you told me that they saved their 80 carries, their 80 carry pick, even even that wouldn't surprise me. I mean, if you told me that Khan will get a counter pick against Nuggery. I mean, that's a good situation. If you told me that for some reason they held off on picking Canyon's champion so that they knew exactly what Tion was playing and could counter it or outscale it, that makes a lot of sense too. And then with Showmaker, if you told me that, you know, they wanted to give Showmaker a champion to counter Doonby 
take away all priority and also have the chance to kill him in lane. I mean, why wouldn't you do that? Uh, so that's fine. I, I, I still like Damwon more than FPX. Uh, so that's it. Let's go into the next match. The next match is Rogue against C9. Rogue is a minus 175 favorite against C9. Uh, I basically have to pick C9 in that spot. Uh, in the top lane, it's Odoamne against Fudge. I think that Fudge is still the better player. Let's go get their scoreboard from last time. Um... C9 was definitely caught out in a bunch of weird spots the first time that they matched up. Rogue. Specifically Blabber. Yeah. So, yeah, this matchup is a classic matchup. The Kiana against the Zinjiao is fine, I think. TF against Zin is kind of fine. And then Lucian against uh, MF and Yumi. Yeah, just not not what you want to see. I mean, if the if the if the two best teams in this group are banning out Han Samas, Draven, and Lucian, I think that uh, Cloud9 should probably ban out the Lucian and the Draven. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. I think that Fudge is a better player. I think that Inspired and Blabber comes down to draft. I think that Larson and Perks, for the most part, comes down to draft. And then Han Sama and Shrimby against Ven and Vulcan. I do think that uh, Han Sama and Shrimby have a pretty big advantage, which will cause Cloud9 to ban them out. And then, you know, where do we end up after that? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. Uh, it really just depends on how they approach the draft phase. Um, so... Like I said, I, I think that we'll get something better out of C9. It's probably better for me if I just bet on bet on Rogue and hope Rogue wins and then have has a good chance to beat the top LEC team. Um, but something about this matchup makes me want to play C9. Uh, so it's it's pretty close. FPX against C9. Which day was that? FPX Rogue. And, and, okay, so this was the split push game. So C9 had very good chances to win this. Uh, C9 can obviously go toe-to-toe -to -toe with FPX. The fact that they lost get this game, terrible draft from FPX. Uh, two magic damage dealers, and then MF, who, as lethality, really isn't going to take over a game. Same thing with Jarvan, just really not enough damage, in my opinion. Um, they managed to win this game, and I think that they should obviously be the favorites to win this one as well. Uh, at minus 600 to plus 350. But, you know, do I want to... Yeah, I, I can't... I, I don't think I can bet on C9 in this spot. Because FPX is going to have blue side. So that's even more stress on the draft for C9. It's really an, FP, an, an FPX spot. Um, which kind of sucks. Uh, not much more to add outside of that I just don't see where they can you have to have pretty bad drafting from FPS hold up Yeah, Cloud9 against FPX, I don't think that I... It, at plus 350, like plus 350, they're begging you to put money on C9. So I think you just got to go FPX. It hurts my heart to say it. Although, yeah, plus 125. And you can't bet them against Dom1 Kia. This is, this is the game to bet C9. 
I don't think that the plus 125 is really, you know, good enough. The plus 350, like, that one, that one's not so bad. You can kind of easily get to that position. All right, next game. Rogue against Don Juan Kia. Odoamne against uh, Khan. I, I really don't think that is a huge problem from Dom Juan, or a huge problem, a huge problem for Rogue uh, to deal with, because yes, Khan is a better player than Odoamne in my opinion. Uh, but you know, how often do they create drafts that are able to create the gigantic advantage in the top lane? It, I, it's most likely not going to be the focal point of this match. I think that. Uh, Canyon is better than Inspired, but stylistically, they're pretty similar. So when you get two junglers that are good enough, um, it kind of can go either way, depending on who has the better early game. Uh, and then a lot of the time, that comes down to who had the better draft. So that's a question mark from a stylistic perspective. Obviously, from a talent perspective, I still do like Canyon better. Uh, in the mid lane, Inspired, uh, in Larson against Showmaker, Showmaker is a better player. Uh, they uh, Larson will have chances to outscale and be like more of the true uh, control mage player. That's just generally how their drafts go. Um, you can't bet on this game, so there's that. And then in the bot lane, Dom Juan is going to have to be uh, banning out Draven and Lucian, which is a slight advantage for Rogue. Um, they could, I, I guess th that's just me kind of wanting, uh, Rogue to be able to turn this match. So I don't know if you, we can really trust that. Um, yeah, that's probably the best I can say about that. Um, again, I don't have the line, so, you know, you can thank Bet365 for that. Rogue against FPX. So Rogue against FPX is minus 450 to plus 300. Uh, you know, just comparing these numbers to one another, it means that the book thinks Rogue has a better chance of beating FPX than C9 does, <clears throat> which isn't completely insane based on what we've seen so far. Uh, let's go to that. FPX against Rogue, 18 to 5. Jace against Rumble. Okay, I'm not sure why we're seeing so much rumble. Uh, Viego against Lee Sin. Rise against LeBlanc. Jin and Leona against MF and Braum. Yep. Uh, this is another team composition which I think is pretty hard to execute because you have an 80 caster, you have Lee Sin, an assassin, and then a team fighting top laner kind of all over the place. Uh, doesn't seem like the easiest thing to do. They also have, you know, kind of bad engage options. Pretty difficult for them to hold a person in place for an MF ultimate or a rumble ultimate. So, not the best draft out of them. I think they could do better. They should be blue side in this next match, so maybe that's an advantage. But it's tough. I, I am... Like I said, I'm not... I'm not going to continue chasing Rogue winning individual games. I'm not going to chase Rogue winning individual games tomorrow. Uh, if the line is good enough for... if Actually, they're not even going to make it through. Um, yeah, so that's that's really the position I'm taking, is they're not going to make it through. So just take FPX again. Uh, DK against C9. So Dom Juan. Uh, Khan against Fudge. I think that uh, Khan is the better player. I do think that Fudge has some matchups that are better for Fudge, but it's because of the champions and not really the players, so that's not a ringing endorsement of Fudge. Uh, Blabber against Canyon. Do I think that Blabber can win an early game against Canyon? Yes. Do I think it's likely? Obviously not. Um, it's another spot where it comes down to draft. It's th this is probably going to be the least interesting day of groups because FPX and Damwon really should just take care of business and and uh, bounce Cloud9 and Rogue out of the tournament. Um, in the mid lane, Showmaker against Perks. Perks really hasn't had a great Worlds. Um, Expectations were low, but the performance really has not been fantastic, so 
not much to say there. And then in the bot lane, like, th this is the huge problem with C9. I think that even though Dom1 doesn't have a great bot lane, I mean, C9 is definitely worse in the bot lane. Uh, I think Vulcan, theoretically, could be the best player out of anybody in the bot lane in this matchup. But Zven is the worst, so kind of unfortunate. Uh, they would have to get a pretty big draft difference in the bot lane for it to turn how the game ends up being played out. Uh, so that was a little bit of a shorter video. I'm, I'm not a huge fan of this layout for games. It just really doesn't do anything for me. Um, just seeing the same teams play over and over again. Just not what I like to watch. Uh, so... Uh, good luck tomorrow. If you would like to support the channel check out patreon discord like comment subscribe follow me on twitter youtube and everything uh, if you want to support the esports department go to the esports department.com backslash donate and the money will be divvied up between myself alan uh ghost the hef john rob and all the other guys behind the scenes um, so that's basically it. Again, sorry for the shorter video, but this, this stuff really just doesn't get me, uh, very excited. The, these games specifically. So, that's all I've got for you today. And I'll talk to you tomorrow.